Remember when a calculator was the coolest gadget around? Think about it. From black and white TV days to the era of endless streaming, boomers have witnessed a technological revolution. Let's take a stroll down memory lane and peek into the world that shaped the baby boomers. Those born between the mid-1940s and mid-1960s. This generation earned its name from the post-World War II boom in birth rates. They've left a mark on everything from the tunes we hum to the places we call home. As this massive generation enters retirement and embraces grandparenthood, they carry with them a treasure trove of memories from a bygone era. Let's reminisce about the things that once filled their daily lives, but have now become relics of the past. One, standing up to switch channels. Imagine this. Zapping through TV channels with just your thoughts sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi flick, right? Well, with how fast tech's advancing, it might just become a reality sooner than we think. And let's face it, for the baby boomers who remember the hassle of changing channels the old-fashioned way, it's probably sounding like a dream come true. Way back before TV remotes were a thing, your only option for ditching a lousy show was to drag yourself off the couch and manually flip the channel. Not exactly the end of the world, but hey, who misses that extra effort? Not us, that's for sure. 2. Payphones Back in the day, before the era of everyone carrying around what essentially amounts to a tiny supercomputer in their pocket, making a phone call while on the go was a bit more of a hassle. Sure, you might luck out and find a sympathetic shop owner who would let you use their landline for free. But let's be honest, that wasn't always the case. More often than not, you'd have to dig into your pockets and pay up for the privilege of making that call. While they might seem quaint and outdated in today's world of instant communication, back in their heyday, payphones were nothing short of a convenient godsend. Need to reach someone in a pinch? Just hope and pray you had a trusty quarter tucked away somewhere in your pockets, ready to spring into action when that urgent call couldn't wait. Oh, the nostalgia. 3. Vinyl Records You know, it's interesting how vinyl is getting its groove back in the music scene, but let's take a trip down memory lane to when it was the epitome of modern, high-tech music enjoyment. Back then, while today's music aficionados might stress about internet outages and the rising costs of streaming subscriptions, those who had a vinyl collection had their own set of concerns. They'd fuss over worn-out needles, meticulously clean dust off their cherished records, and sometimes even agonize over the occasional scratch or warp. But despite all the trials and tribulations, there was something magical about the crackle of a needle dropping onto a spinning record, filling the room with warm, rich sounds. It was an experience that transcended mere listening. It was almost like a ritual, a communion between the music and the listener. And let's not forget the sheer joy of flipping through album covers, admiring the artwork, and poring over liner notes while the music played in the background. There was a tangible connection to the music that just isn't quite the same in today's digital age. So, while vinyl may have had its quirks and challenges, ask any audiophile worth their salt and they'll tell you the sound quality, the nostalgia, the sheer joy of spinning a record, it's all worth it. Vinyl truly does sound better and its resurgence is a testament to the enduring appeal of a classic analog listening experience in a digital world. 4. Walking to school These days, it seems like the mere thought of allowing your child to walk to school alone could trigger a full-blown panic attack in some parents. You might as well be signing up for a crash course in parenting scrutiny before you've even had a chance to finish your morning coffee. But oh, how times have changed from the days when parental concerns weren't quite as hyped up. Back in the good old days, sending your kid off on foot to school was just a part of growing up. It was a norm, a common sight in neighborhoods everywhere. 
And beyond being just a practical means of getting from point A to point B, it was a rite of passage, a taste of independence that every child craved. After all, what youngster didn't secretly yearn for a bit of freedom away from the ever-watchful gaze of mom and dad? There was a certain thrill in the simple act of walking to school alone, navigating familiar streets and chatting with friends along the way. It was a chance to forge your own path, make your own decisions, and maybe even get into a little harmless mischief without the omnipresent oversight of parental figures. But alas, those days seem like a distant memory now, overshadowed by a culture of hypervigilance and fear. While the world may have changed, one thing remains true. The freedom and sense of accomplishment that came with walking to school solo will always hold a special place in the hearts of those who experienced it. 5. Typewriters In today's world of digital convenience, the ability to open up a fresh Word document and tweak your writing to your heart's content is something we often take for granted. But for those who remember the clack-clack of typewriter keys and the unmistakable ding at the end of a line, such luxuries were but a distant dream. Back in the heyday of typewriters, even the most cutting-edge models only offered limited assistance when it came to correcting mistakes. While some of the newer, more advanced typewriters boasted features for correcting small errors, they were still leagues behind the seamless editing capabilities we enjoy today. For those who found themselves at the mercy of classic typewriters, there was no hitting the backspace key or relying on the magic of autocorrect. Nope, if you made a mistake, you were in for some serious manual labor. You'd either have to whip out the trusty bottle of whiteout and painstakingly cover up the error, or, brace yourself, start the entire page over again from scratch. It was a world where every keystroke carried weight, where the permanence of ink on paper meant that each word had to be carefully considered before being committed to the page. And while it may seem like ancient history now, there's a certain nostalgic charm to those days of typewriter triumphs and tribulations. 6. Encyclopedia. Ah, the good old days before the internet revolutionized everything. Back then, if you needed to look something up, you had to get creative. Remember those hefty encyclopedia sets that seemed to take up half the living room? Yep. Those were our go-to sources of wisdom, but let's be honest, as convenient as they were, those encyclopedias were a pain to lug around, not to mention pricey to own. So when the internet came along and made knowledge just a few clicks away, it was like a breath of fresh air. Sure, the internet isn't perfect, we all know about its quirks and pitfalls, but when it comes to quickly finding answers, it's hard to beat. So, adios encyclopedias. We won't miss lugging you around. 7. Using baseball cards for bike wheel noise. Back in the golden days of childhood, there was a peculiar tradition among bike riding youngsters that defied all logic. Sticking a baseball card into the spokes of your bike. Now, if you were hoping this little trick would magically boost your bike's performance or maybe make it fly, you were in for a disappointment. Because let's face it, it did absolutely nothing to improve your ride. But here's the thing. Kids didn't care about practicality or performance. No way. They did it simply because it sounded awesome as they pedaled around the block. That distinctive rhythmic hum created by the baseball card fluttering against the spokes was like music to their ears, a symphony of childhood joy. So while, from a grown-up perspective, it might seem utterly nonsensical, for kids it made perfect sense. After all, when you're young and carefree, sometimes the coolest things are done for no reason other than the sheer thrill of it. And in a world where the sound of a baseball card against bike spokes could make your day, who needs practicality anyway? 8. TV stations closing for the day. Picture yourself in the year 1960, settling in for an evening of television. You've cozied up on the couch, perhaps catching the latest episode of your favorite show or enjoying a classic movie. 
But as the hours slip by and the night deepens, you find yourself succumbing to the comfortable embrace of sleep. Suddenly, you're stirred awake by the unmistakable strains of the US national anthem emanating from the television set. Confusion sets in. What's happening? Is there some sort of emergency broadcast? But then it hits you. The TV station is signing off for the night. In the world long before the advent of 24-hour news networks and the endless streaming options we enjoy today, television channels had a firm closing time. Once the programming for the evening had concluded, the station would bid its viewers adieu with the playing of the national anthem before transitioning to a test pattern or simply shutting down altogether until the next broadcasting day. It might seem quaint and almost surreal now, this concept of television stations going dark at a certain hour, especially in an era where entertainment is available at the touch of a button any time of day or night. But for those who experienced it, that late-night rendition of the national anthem served as a gentle reminder of the passage of time and the promise of a new day ahead. So, while today's viewers might take for granted the ability to watch TV around the clock, there's a certain nostalgic charm in remembering a time when the day's programming concluded with a patriotic melody, signaling the end of another day in the golden age of television. 9. Moon Landings Back in 1969, the world held its breath as humanity embarked on one of its most audacious adventures, landing on the moon. Neil Armstrong's historic first steps marked a monumental leap forward for mankind, a moment etched into the annals of history. However, in the years following that iconic Apollo 11 mission, the fervor for lunar exploration gradually waned. Despite several manned moon landings in the years that followed, notably Apollo 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17, the last of these missions took place in 1972. Since then, the lunar surface has remained untouched by human footprints, leaving us to marvel at the memories and photographs of those groundbreaking expeditions. 10. No caller IDs? Back in the bygone era before caller ID became a staple feature of our phones, avoiding unwanted calls was like navigating a minefield blindfolded each ring of the telephone was a gamble, leaving you to wonder who might be on the other end of the line. Picture this, no answering machines to screen calls, no visual cues to hint at who was calling, just the raw anticipation of picking up the receiver and bracing yourself for whatever awaited you. It was a time when every unanswered call held a sense of mystery, beckoning you to take the risk and discover who was reaching out. Of course, without the luxury of caller ID, there were limited strategies for evading those pesky or unwelcome conversations. Sure, you could always resort to the age-old tactic of abruptly hanging up, but that was hardly the most graceful exit. It lacked the finesse and subtlety of today's polite decline, prompted by a quick glance at the caller ID screen. So, in the absence of modern conveniences, navigating the delicate dance of phone etiquette was a skill in itself. Whether you chose to roll the dice and answer every call or perfected the art of the strategic hang-up, avoiding unwanted conversations in the pre-caller ID era required a certain finesse and a willingness to embrace the unknown. 11. Ham Radios while ham radio enthusiasts still thrive today, it's true that this form of communication has seen a decline in popularity compared to its heyday. And unlike some regrettable trends, this decline is truly unfortunate. Before the rise of social media, amateur radio was the ultimate way to connect with intriguing strangers. Broadcasting over the airwaves, you never knew who might be tuning in to your signal, and therein lay the excitement the thrill of making contact with fellow enthusiasts or stumbling upon fascinating conversations from across the globe was an adventure in itself. Ham Radio offered a unique opportunity to break free from the confines of your immediate surroundings and explore the vast world of communication in a way that's hard to replicate in today's digital age. 12. 
Polio. This is a historical chapter that resonates across generations, a collective memory we'd all rather consign to the past. Polio. While polio has largely faded from the forefront of public consciousness thanks to the advent of vaccines, its legacy looms large. The emergence of a vaccine represented a pivotal moment in the battle against polio, a disease that once cast a shadow of fear and uncertainty over communities worldwide. However, it's crucial to recognize that the 1970s, when the vaccine began to gain widespread use, isn't as distant as it may seem. Remarkably, there are individuals among us today who vividly remember the harrowing toll polio could exact. For them, the threat of the disease was not just a historical footnote, but a stark reality they faced firsthand. Their memories serve as a poignant reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity and the transformative power of scientific innovation. The journey from polio outbreaks to near eradication is a testament to the tireless efforts of researchers, healthcare professionals, and countless others who have dedicated themselves to the cause. It's a story of progress and triumph over one of humanity's greatest challenges, offering hope for a future where diseases like polio are but distant memories. 13. Smoking everywhere. Cast your mind back to the days when smoking on airplanes was as common as peanuts and tiny bottles of soda. It might sound bonkers now, but it wasn't until the 1990s that they finally put the brakes on that practice. And if you're a baby boomer, chances are you've got memories of those days when cigarette ads were practically inescapable, especially during the groovy 60s. But hey, life's all about change, right? As we started learning more about the serious health risks of smoking, the tide began to turn. People started wisening up, and before you knew it, they pulled the plug on cigarette ads altogether. It's all part of the journey from the smoky past to the cleaner, healthier present we enjoy today. 14. Rotary phones. Do you recall the last time you actually dialed a number? And not just on any phone, but on those classic rotary ones. It's a bit of a rarity these days, isn't it? With all the digital gadgets we have, reaching out to someone has become as easy as pie. No need to jot down their digits anymore. But let's rewind the clock a bit. Back in the day, getting in touch meant grabbing hold of that clunky rotary phone and spinning that dial to input the numbers. It wasn't exactly the speediest method, especially if your buddy's number was filled with a bunch of nines. Those were the times when making a phone call was a bit more of a manual affair. 15. TV antennas. Ever find yourself grappling with TV reception issues? These days, our first instinct might be to pick up the phone and dial the cable company, crossing our fingers for a swift digital intervention. But let's take a trip down memory lane. In the good old days, that antenna perched atop your TV set could either be your trusty ally or your sworn nemesis. When everything was humming along smoothly, it was easy street, no fuss, no muss. But when the signals started to misbehave, it was like diving into a battle you weren't quite prepared for. You'd twist and turn that antenna, maybe wrap it in aluminum foil for good measure, hoping against hope for a miraculous improvement in picture quality. But alas, sometimes it felt like you were fighting a losing battle as if the whims of the airwaves had a mind of their own. It's funny how something as seemingly simple as adjusting an antenna could become a whole saga, complete with its own set of challenges and triumphs. 16. Phone books. Back in the days of phone books, there was a curious dichotomy in the process of finding someone's contact information. It was both straightforward and convoluted at the same time. If you had a name to go on, and hopefully it wasn't as generic as John Smith or Jane Doe, locating a stranger's phone number felt eerily simple. Flip through a few pages, and there it was, like finding a needle in a haystack, but without all the hassle. However, let's fast forward to the present day, where the landscape of information retrieval has undergone a seismic shift. 
In the digital age, possessing someone's phone number is almost inconsequential. With just a name to work with, a few taps on a keyboard can unlock a wealth of insights. Thanks to the power of search engines like Google, a quick query yields not just a phone number, but a plethora of social media profiles, online presences, and digital footprints. It's as if the old-fashioned phone book has been replaced by a virtual directory that extends far beyond mere contact details. In this brave new world, the concept of privacy takes on a whole new meaning, and the once familiar ritual of leafing through pages of a phone book seems like a relic from a bygone era. 17. Phone Operators Making a simple phone call nowadays might seem like a breeze, but let me take you on a journey back to a time when it was a whole different ball game. Imagine this. If you wanted to have a chat with someone, you had to bring a third party into the mix. Can you believe it? Thank goodness for the advent of texting, right? But let's pause for a moment and pay homage to the unsung heroes of yesteryears, the telephone operators. These individuals were the true MVPs of communication back in the day. Picture them sitting behind those colossal switchboards, like wizards orchestrating the flow of information across vast networks of wires. They were the ones ensuring that our calls made it to the right destination, navigating through the maze of connections with precision and grace. Think about it. Before the age of automated systems and digital interfaces, it was these skilled operators who were the backbone of the telephone system. They were the ones who answered our calls, connected us to our loved ones, and handled our requests with patience and professionalism. 18. The Milkman Let's take a moment to appreciate how easy it is to get and keep milk these days. But back in the day, oh boy, it was a whole different story. Enter the unsung hero of the dairy world, the milkman. Before we had fancy refrigeration techniques in grocery stores and homes to prolong milk's freshness, daily deliveries were the name of the game. The milkman was like a knight in shining armor, ensuring that every household had their daily dose of dairy goodness. However, as technology advanced and people started stocking up on milk at the store, the milkman's role gradually faded into obscurity. But hey, let's not forget the vital part they played in keeping our cereal bowls filled and our coffee cups brimming with creamy goodness. Cheers to the milkman. 19. Beatlemania. All right, let's take a trip down memory lane to the swinging 60s and the phenomenon known as Beatlemania. If you were there to experience it firsthand, chances are you're part of the Boomer crew. The Beatles burst onto the scene around 1963, and boy, did they make a splash. Their fan base was like nothing the world had seen before. It was pure madness. Imagine getting all worked up over four lads from Liverpool with questionable bowl haircuts. Nowadays, with fans and celebrities practically joined at the hip thanks to social media, Beatlemania almost seems quaint in comparison. But let's not forget the sheer hysteria it stirred up, screaming, crying, the whole nine yards. Phew, thank goodness we didn't have Instagram and Twitter back then, right? Who knows what chaos would have ensued? 20. Store Catalogues. Let's set the record straight. Online shopping isn't solely to blame for shopping addiction. Nope. Back in the day, before the internet took over our lives, you could still find yourself splurging without ever touching a keyboard. It just required a bit more old-fashioned patience and a penchant for perusing printed pages. Picture this. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through endless web pages, we used to lose ourselves in the tactile pleasure of flipping through physical catalogues. Ah, the sheer joy of running your fingers over glossy pages, each one a window into a world of possibilities where every item seemed to whisper, you need me. But here's the twist. When it came time to seal the deal and place an order, you better hope you scribbled down the correct product number on your order form. Ah, the anticipation mixed with a hint of anxiety as you awaited your precious package to arrive, hoping beyond hope that you hadn't accidentally ordered a dozen of something instead of just one.
The good old days of retail therapy, just with a few more paper cuts and a touch more suspense. It's a reminder that shopping addiction has been around whether online or in those beloved catalogues of yore. The sweet nostalgia of days gone by, it's a feeling that tugs at the heartstrings, isn't it? And hey, if this video brought a smile to your face, why not show it some love with a thumbs up? And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button to stay updated with future releases. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely enjoy the video playing on your screen right now. Go ahead, give it a click, and I'll catch you in the next one.